my book, Salinidad, I uh, was really interested in thinking about the role of uh, a Latina performer in um, American culture at the turn of the 21st century. Um, and I think that moment in history for me is really important in thinking about Latino and American history because uh, it was a moment that Latinos um, were sort of seen in a number of different lights and one of them was seen as like, ooh, the next big you know, majority minority, right? And they were also seen as a kind of moment in, in pop culture boom for Latinos, of course. There had been Latino culture all along, but it was certainly seen by the mainstream and framed by the mainstream as the sort of moment when we'd arrived. Uh, and, but the other thing that happened at that moment, too, was um, a lot of legislation, like immigration legislation and welfare reform, and all of these legislative practices that were really also um, affecting Latinos in really, uh, really important and devastating ways, often um, NAFTA as well. And so I was interested in looking at how all these things came together and in particular how they came together through the career but also mostly the afterlife of Selena. And I, what I discovered is that they did all kind of come together in the ways that people remembered her. I think people, I asked very simply, what does it mean to remember Selena? Why was there such a big outpouring of grief after she died? And what I discovered from talking to people and reading about what people did and seeing the things that they created in her honor was that it became a way to mourn the tragedies in their own lives. And it became a way for people to celebrate also the triumphs in their own life. She presented or represented for people also a sense, just as much as of a sense of tragedy, but also a sense of promise given her young age and all that. And given um, the ways that she uh, incorporated a lot of different elements of Latino culture and so for communities who were really trying to think of themselves as Latinos in a new way, um, both within America but also vis-a-vis -vis other Latinos, uh, remembering Selena really became a way to understand who Latinos were um, as, uh, as citizens, as um, cultural makers uh, in arts, and uh, as political constituencies, uh, as uh, markets, right? All these, all these things kind of, I think, really came together in studying Selena. And I find, as someone who studies performance, that often performers or um, acts of performance often become the, a really important place for looking at the negotiations between power and commerce and desire and agency uh, among communities, um, whether they're Latino communities or larger communities um, within the United States. I think for me that's um, an exciting place to look at things. One, because I think performance, um, it's a lot, it's often live, and it uh, requires us to really think in terms of a very local moment. It, it, gets, it, it tends to a kind of very historical specificity, which I think is important. It keeps us attuned to what's happening in the now. But performance also, also really um, evokes and houses all kinds of histories, right? So to look at a performance, uh, like let's say by Selena, it's important to see the kind of history of performances that are also being um, uh, articulated and housed in the particular moves she does or songs she sings, for example. So performance allows us to both look at history and look at the present, and I think in really evocative ways. I chose Selena as a subject um, <clears throat> in part because I was to be very honest, I think in part somewhat surprised by the outcome, by the outpouring, excuse me, by the outpouring of, of uh, tremendous memorialization after she died. Uh, and the reason I was surprised was, I think, different from some of the reasons why mainstream America might have been surprised. For me, I, um, like Selena, I was Tejana and grew up in South Texas. And not not because I didn't, it wasn't just because I felt an affinity with her, but more because I knew that as a Tejana, among other Latinos, you're certainly not seen as cool. Like, you're sort of seen as like the backward country cousins who can't really dance. And so I was really interested in how she became so tremendously popular, just even among other a range of Latinos, right? Even within the kind of hierarchies within Latino culture, I was amazed that she was able to find a, such a tremendous following uh, across such a broad spectrum of Latino audiences. And so part of me was wondering, wow, like, how did this happen? Um, part of that happened through her own virtuosity. Uh, part of it happened through the size of her body and the way it signified to certain different kinds of, of body types in, in Latino America. Um, part of that happened through marketing, um, all kinds of forces, certainly. But really, it came out of a gen gen partly a genuine question of how did this happen. But also, it came out of a, a you know, sort of personally out of a, a moment when there were some particular losses in my own family, and I was really wondering, like, how do we? 
um, what's the productive work that grief does? How do we make sense of loss? How do we make meaning in our lives uh, from through the act of grief and memory? And so for me, those two questions became really important. Having already been interested in performance, having already been interested in Latino lives, uh, she became a wonderful uh, way and a really powerful way, I think, to explore all of these different ideas. Selena was phenomenally popular before she died, uh, and, and I think that the people really were drawn to her, the space of her memory, in part um, because it, it happened at a particular moment in history when um, so many things were happening that were coming together that affected Latino lives in, in very important ways um, in terms of legislation, in terms of cultural marketing, in terms of like becoming, being on the cusp of the 2000 census and, and uh, kind of uh, excitement and, and, and also suspicion around Latinos numbers growing. And so for me what I, I think was interesting is wow, the fact that she died at a particular time was really, a, a time in history became really um, important for me to think about how the power of, of a performer both as an actual touring person but also as an icon, as a symbol, uh, her memory, uh, the importance of that in culture really became something that I could really explore in this project and that um, really emphasized how Latinos at that particular moment right, were able to use that space of her memory in incredibly creative and profound ways. Felinidad um, plays on a, the sort of span, you know, span the, the, the use in Spanish of the suffix idad, which makes something into a noun, right? So if we think of the term Latinidad, which means roughly translated Latino identity, right? And so I, I wanted to use a word that could evoke something that was of Selena, but not just her, right? Because I think the space of memory that's created around her is about her, but it's also about so many other things. So I wanted a word that could kind of, could suggest or point to the kinds of spaces that get created um, from her memory, right? The kind of, uh, the noun, as it were, that, 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 that's, that's created that is beyond her as well. So Selinidad became a way of thinking about this memorial space uh, that's, that, 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 that is allowed, that, that encourages people to be creative, that encourages people to both remember her but also to imagine the future and to re-imagine or at least uh, survive the present. I, I think it's, it's a really exciting moment in, in in, within the United States when we're in thinking about Latino uh, history. And so for me, uh, I, I'm, very, I'm very interested in this moment when Latinos are alternately seen as kind of hot commodities and also dangerous, you know, not quite citizen subjects. And I think thinking about those tensions um, is, is something that really interests me now and that I think so much of the way we can examine that happens through Latino popular culture.